Hello everyone, I'm Shun. I'm glad to present our work about how small can we go, lightweight, iterative MDS matrices. It's a joint work with Sun Siwei, Stan Bing, Li Yun, and Hu Lei. Okay, let's start. Firstly, I want to introduce some background. The diffusion components in lightweight symmetric key cryptographic algorithms are typically realized with linear operations expressed as matrices and spreading the internal dependencies as much as possible. The diffusion property of a diffusion matrix is up to its branch number. By definition, a branch number of a matrix is defined as the minimum number of addition of non-zero blocks of input and output of the matrix. Regular lightweight primitives have following types of diffusion layer. The first is bit-level permutations, such as present and gift. The second is bitwise XORs and rotations, such as skinny and FCraft. The third is maximal distance separable or MDS matrices, such as AES, the famous example. And the last is generalized from MDS matrices called almost MDS matrices, such as Midori and Coma. The definition of an invertible matrix is MDS over M bit words if and only if the branch number of the matrix equals K plus 1 or the dimension plus 1. Here is an example in, of MDS matrix in AES. By the way, it's also succulent. There are several constructions about a MDS matrix. The first is XOR and rotation based, such as height. The second is iteration based. There are LFS, GFS, DSI, and sparse DSI forms. The third is special type, special type based such as succulent, orthogonal, adama, toplit, cautery, and involutory. By definition, a matrix is called an iterative MDS matrix with MDS order t if t is the smallest positive integer such that the t power of a is MDS. MDS, inter-iterative MDS matrix have some advantage and disadvantage. The advantage is the cost of the implementation of iterative MDS matrices in terms of area is determined by the matrix regardless of how complicated the MDS matrix is. The disadvantage is reduced area footprint comes at the cost of increased delays. Here is an example of LFS type iterative MDS matrix used in Fonton hash functions as well as the LED block cipher, which are presented at Crypto 2011 and Trans 2011, respectively. This LFS type iterative M MDS matrix has all the four. Then we are going to minimize the structure of iterative MDS matrix. Actually, it's inspired by the sparse DSI. So we're gonna to identify the theoretically smallest iterative MDS matrix with regard to the number of non-zero blocks required in its implementation. Throughout all existing structure of iterative MDS matrices, we wonder if we could go further to make the non-zero blocks as less as possible, so that the matrix could be more sparse in k by k. The natural question is, what's the minimum number of non-zero blocks of an 
iterative MDF matrix such that the d power of the iterative MDF matrix can be MDS for some positive integer t. The following lemma clearly give us a um, lower bound for the number of non-zero blocks. When the matrix has only three or less non-zero blocks, it's singular, of course, and whatever how many times it iterates, it's also singular. And when the matrix has four non-zero blocks and the two of them are in the same row or in the same column, it's also singular. And it's also not MDS for any positive integer. And when the matrix have, have four non-zero blocks and the four non-zero blocks are in the different co columns and in different rows, you could prove it by the mathematical induction. That is, this form of matrix has always only four non-zero blocks, whatever how many times it iterates. So we have to uh, increase the non-zero blocks number. And if we got a matrix with more than four non-zero blocks, how to check if it's a iterative MDS matrix or not? Here is an example. We have matrix in five. We find a matrix in sixteen by sixteen binary matrix over four bit words, and if it's an iterative MDS matrix then the order is no more than 2 to the 16 that's because there must be two of them are the same when the order over 2 to the 16 that is we could find the same matrices in the chain of power. So the search slip space is limited to the matrix with more than five and zero box and uh, we calculate it we calculate its uh, order up to two to the sixteen and check if it's MDS or not. But the space is too big and it's infeasible. So we have to reduce the search space. First of all, for a matrix with five non-zero blocks to be iterative may MDS, the placement of the five non-zero blocks is not arbitrary. Actually, we can identify four blocks from the non-zero, five non-zero blocks such that any two of them are in different rows and different columns, otherwise it's not uh, MDS. The structure of 5 non zero box, given the iterative MDS matrix with 5 non zero box, it can be decompo decomposed as B and Z. Well, B has four and zero blocks from A which are placed in at different rows and different columns and Z has a single and zero box from A. And we can we can find that the main component B has only six out of twenty four possibilities of the choice of the positions of the four and zero blocks shows below. Actually, it's because of the cycle permutation, we re re represent all possible matrix B in cycle permutation and try to find some equivalence. 
The positions of the non-zero blocks in B correspond to a commutation which can be represented as the product of some disjoint cycles. For example, here we got uh, four matrix and they are of type, they are different type. I mean, the first one includes four, one cycle. The second one includes two, two cycles. And the third one includes one, one cycle and one, three cycle. And the last one is just the four cycle. So it can, it can be easily proved. Only four cycles are allowed. And the four cycles have, have totally six possibilities. If it's not a four cycle, there are, exist some entries in any power of the matrix to be zero blocks. So it's not uh, MDS, of course. To find the light, lightest iterative MDS matrix in 4n by 4n or n bit words with five non zero blocks, we only need to consider the matrices whose main component B are of type 1, 2, 3, 4. Because there are five four cycles could be transformed to a bar form via a series of invertible operation preserving the area cost and the iterative MDS properties such as this example the 1 2 3 4 cycle could be equivalent to the 1 2 4 3 and when B is restricted to the form of 1 2 3 4 the unique non-zero box in Z seems to have 12 possible positions, but further transformation makes only two cases reasonable. Here we give uh, a equivalent four positions, that is, Z appears in 1, 4 is equivalent to 2, 1, and 3, 2, and 4, 3. For the only two structures of 5 and 0 blocks matrix, we can further give some restrictions on the of entries. That is, we can prove that the 4 and 0 blocks of B have to be, have all have to be non singular. That is, from the property of MDS. That's uh, any some matrices one by one, two by two, three by three, and four by four has to be all invertible for a matrix to be an invert to be an MDS matrix. And the, the four non zero blocks of B, A1, A2, A3, A4 will appear in some of entries in any iterations. So to make sure any iterations, each entries in any iterations to be singular to be invertible than singular, the four non zero blocks have all to be non singular. And we consider one of the two target sets. We could start a trail search in a minimized space. Because from the aspect of actual count, the permutation matrix may be the best choice. So we fix A1, A2, A3, A4, or be permutation matrices and find if we can get uh, iterative MDS matrices. And luckily, we got a um, 3 x count matrix whose 451 power is MDS.
and it's probably lightest iterative MDS matrix in 16 by 16 binary matrices over 4 bit words because we could prove this lemma that states any iterative MDS block matrix with 5 non zero blocks or 6 non zero blocks, we have the actual count is not less than 3. And actually, we exhaustively search through all matrices with 5 or 6 non zero blocks via its actual count. Is not bigger than two and find no solution. Although the three actual count is a good thing, but the five the four hundred and fifty one iteration times is not good. So we try to find something better on the latency or lightweight iterative MDS matrices with small orders. The previous matrix with only three actual area counts is only of theoretic interest when it requires 551 cycles to complete the computation. So can we find a more reasonable iterative MDS matrix with minimal MDS orders? Because we just care about the latency, so we could do some any equivalent transform to make a search space minimal without losing the MDS property and we search in the space we of matrices with only five non zero blocks and the exact lower or lower bound of order is fourteen. Same as before the way is to fix, uh, assume to the numbers of non-zero blocks or for the first row, second row, third row, and fourth row to of A uh, to one one one, and the other patterns can be put into this form with a series of invertible transformation, which is iterative MDS and MDS order invariant, such as the site shows below. And when we fix the order to be the lower bound 14, and we actually got uh, a matrix with only seven actual counts. Well, we thought 14 maybe still too big compared to existing iterative MDS matrices with order only 4. So we relax the restriction on the number of non-zero blocks and find something new. That is, we could find 4 order iterative MDS matrix in when the, when the non-zero blocks of the matrix is 6 and there are only two actually two possibilities for the distribution of non-zero blocks of A to make it become a iterative MDS matrix correspond to the Two forms we inspect all iterative MDS matrices satisfying the order is four and have six non zero blocks. And the further search shows we could not get better results than previous because all matrices. With six non zero blocks and order four, have at least ten extra pounds.
you go um, searching higher dimensions for lighter iterative MDF matrices. Well, the, when the dimension is higher, the constraints are more because we have to make all one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, and five by five some matrices all non singular. And we find actually a six XOR iterative MDF matrices whose 90, 981 power is MDS. Same as before, 981 is too big for latency. We increase lag count gradually and find a rather low order, only 8, and its XOR count is 15. We can follow the previous trivial extension to find to find something some matrices in high totally dimensions. That means the Km by Km over M bit words we could increase enlarge it to 2km by 2km over 2n bit words. For example, the left matrix is 2 by 2, and we could enlarge it to 4 by 4, but also we could sort it as a 2 by 2, and each sub matrix is 2n by 2n. The corresponding the correspond is A11 to A1100 A11. And this enlargement will not change the MDS property. Here are some examples shows the usefulness of enlargement techniques. We can use the iterative MDS matrix we found in 16 by 16 costing 3 XOR gates with iterative order 451, we could get an iterative MDS matrix in 32 by 32 over 8 bit words, costing 6 XOR gates with the same iterative order. And also we could use the iterative MDS matrix in 20 by 20, costing 6 XOR gates with iterative order 900 81. We could get an um, iterative MDS matrix in 40 by 40, costing 12 XOR gates with the same iterative orders. This is just a direct use of the four results or the matrix we found before to construct directly a new matrix also iterative MDS so it's quite useful and finally we will give our main results we emphasize the better part of our results in both form and in conclusion we search iterative MDS matrices without any special structure give theoretical analysis and compare to previous constructions and we identify a theoretically lightest iterative MDS matrix in 4x4 over 4 bit words with minimal non zero blocks. And we find 
iteratively MDS matrices of various dimensions which are not only lighter than previous results but also reach their lower bounds in terms of latencies. That's all. Thank you.